I could even tell you something right now, which, you know, I'm going through with Instagram as well. Recently, for whatever reason, um, and, and it's interesting, I, I usually don't even post them about, like, the, the government, but there was a topic that was really going viral within urban communities I posted about. And it's the, the topic of uh, the Biden administration approving certain stuff to help people and people that might be battling addiction and some of it is like, yo, hey, we just want them to be safe if they are going to do certain stuff. It was put out by Fox News that they might be handing out crack pipes. I think I reposted that story. A quote unquote independent fact checker, the, the story went viral on my page, 10,000 comments. They flagged my page to say that the story quote unquote isn't true, even though I got it off, I got it off a, a, a news organization site, which is Fox News. But really, I'm a pawn in a bigger fight. CNN, Fox News, everybody else, they're fighting over who gets to give information, who disseminates it. And they drag Facebook or Instagram or Twitter into court every couple of months to say, you you can't let this person, you have to moderate how information is getting out. So they flagged this thing on my page on Instagram. And now, like, I forgot how much time it, it, it's going to be for. But now, if you if you don't follow me right now on Instagram, my main page, when you click on my name to follow me, it says this page is posted for all this information, which is ridiculous. Like, I'm not making shit up. I just copied and pasted. But really, that came from, I believe, Fox News. There's these independent fact checkers, all type of stuff going on. CNN is beefing with Fox, but really both of them are losing to podcasts. So then the, the they had to focus on podcasts because the biggest outlet in the world is Joe Rogan. So if you're on Instagram or Twitter, remember when Trump used to tweet, they'd be like, yo, just slap something to say this isn't verified by fact checkers or this is the truth or this is going on on Twitter or Instagram. But that like they, they would basically put something over your tweet to say, don't listen to the tweet. This is what's going on, which, by the way, defeats the purpose of you tweeting at all. But how do you do how do you deal with a podcast? Well, you could get YouTube to remove them. YouTube recently has been removing and slapping on stickers with anybody who mentions certain things. For example, when it comes to politics, you're going to get flagged. That's why I used to do videos on my thoughts on politics. I stopped. I used to do YouTube videos. I stopped. The world has gotten so politicized that they play politics on social media. They play politics on YouTube. It's not meant for you to have your own opinion because if you're popular enough, you could sway votes. Now you're you're this independent entity swaying votes for whoever and you're fucking up the establishment. So they're they're pressuring YouTube and Google and all these places to control motherfuckers who have influence 